Hello everyone. So uh, this tutorial is about how to remove flickering or shimmering uh, on the edge. So as you can see, there are a lot of posts uh, and complaints about this edge flickering in the Unity. And uh, this is uh, what I have found so far uh, about uh, how to remove the flickering issues. Now, if I want to show you what does that mean is, let's see. Uh, yes, if you see, we can observe that there are so many flickering on the edge in the VR and Oculus Quest 2, which is so uh, basically annoying, right? And now uh, what I want to do, the results would be something like this. As you can see, really clean is getting so low and uh, it's much, much, much better now in terms of uh, uh, these things. So uh, let's begin the tutorial then. Okay, so uh, to do that, uh, we uh, can follow several steps. The first one is using the render scale. So, uh, for that, uh, what we need to do is go to the edit, and the project setting, and then uh, since we want to develop uh, for the virtual reality applications, then uh, we need to double click on the forward rendering. And you can see the forward rendering here, right? So this render scale is uh, basically one of the parameters that uh, can adjust the resolutions of the display so I am going to increase it uh, to from 1 to 2 and then see how uh, everything is now you can see it's a little bit better but not much so if uh, so this render scale is um, so much uh, resource intensive so what uh, we for the VR usually we don't uh, play with these parameters but you can play and then see how uh, the difference is uh, so the second one it is anti-aliasing and uh, so there is uh, some mm, uh, good materials for this uh, anti-aliasing uh, but uh, what we want to do is just increasing from 2 to 8 and then let's uh, see how things as you can see uh, I am <coughs> seeing some improvement but uh, still there is so many flickering uh, yes the third one is the disable emissions so uh, let's say for this for example box if I just uh, go to the materials and then see it, yeah there is emissions here so I just disable the emissions and then we will see uh, how as you can see, this uh, the box doesn't have any flickering anymore, and it's totally fixed now. Now, so the emission is sol like solved the problem for at least one of the objects there. Uh, and so the four number four is delete redundant lights and bake light. So what does that mean? Is this flickering? Mm comes from several uh, probably sources and one of those is uh, the lights so what I want to do is basically since we want to do it uh, develop a, a VR application it's mm, uh, it doesn't need to uh, have fancy lights or things like that because it's it usually we uh, in the VR we have very basic 
an easy scene. So what I am searching here is light. And then you can see we have, for example, these lights here. So I am what I am going to do is just uh, disable again the emissions for this one. And then also uh, we have a spotlight here. And what I'm going to do is I turn on the gizmos and then you can see this light is just um, we have uh, something. But we can easily I can easily get rid of this light for now. And <coughs> then um, also um, there is dire directional light. And usually we in the VR, we bake the light. So what I am going to check change the directional light parameter from the mix to baked and then uh, uh, so uh, in, order to be in the post processing also you need to basically um, change these objects to a static the objects that doesn't move for example this one and uh, these woods right now uh, also, we have the direct light here, right? So what I'm going to do is just decrease the intensity of this light a little bit and also the multiplier. Mm, and now I'm uh, uh, going to the lighting. And I hit this auto generate and then I just disable it. And now I use soft. Uh, Interactive, and then I can use just uh, invited uh, depreciate, which is fine. And then uh, what I'm gonna do is just press the generate light, and it takes a little bit to uh, generate this light for us. Now uh, we bake basically, so the light is not generated real time anymore. And now if I just see in the headset I can see yes the first object is mm, fine the second object is also uh, is pretty good now and also this tree is remaining that which is uh, not uh, good so so what I can do here is basically go to like in the VR we usually have the problem with the trees and the leaves so mm, it's very tough to basically fix these uh, things in the VR but what I want to do is um, just changing this object to uh, a static object I know that uh, we need for example um, we need, uh, for example, sometimes uh, a wind, right, to have some uh, more kind of uh, animation where the uh, leaves can move around. But I mean, what I want to just do is changing these uh, leaves from uh, the shader graph to university render pipeline and delete. And then I am just putting the texture there and then changing the surface to transparent and also um, the alpha clipping should be zero uh, and then um, I'm just gonna remove the smoothness but everything that you need for the VR good application of VR should be um, as much simple as you can then for this one also I am gonna uh, play with the smoothness and then I go to the light again and then generate light and then when I see in the VR that you can uh, see the tree is so sharp. There is some uh, 
it's not fog actually but i mean uh, i think the light can be still uh, we can uh, change the intensity to maybe get a, a little bit more light so i uh, again yeah this the fog is issue here yeah, as i said i need to turn off the fog as well so i am just get rid of the fog and then once again uh, i just press on the play and you can see yes we have much much now better um surfaces there is actually some uh little edge flickering but uh it's now much better than uh, what we have uh, what we had in the first so uh, and so we did all of these steps and then except the first one i just changed it to again one because it's so uh, resource consuming if i go to the again to the uh, project setting and then university render pipeline and then you can see here that uh, we use anti-aliasing of eight you can change with this parameter that i mentioned here and then see and one more thing is increase the texture quality uh, which usually we have for example the texture quality of let's say for example for this one we have uh, for example this texture and if you go and see this texture might have uh, a low resolution and you can uh, also increase the resolution there are uh, some softwares like this uh, topaz gigapixel if i'm spelling correctly you can use this kind of softwares to uh, increase the basically the um, uh, texture resolution and then just play around to see how much uh, improvement you can get but in overall as uh, you can also see in the video we got very nice uh, we got rid of those all those uh, edge flickering with some of these uh, uh, solutions so thank you very much